Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to play against great sword. I know sometimes it's just a cram to play against this weapon because it has insane strings and uh, insane dodge reads and sometimes it's just really hard to get out of its strings and all of its combos. And I even struggle myself to play against great sword sometimes. Uh, so I can totally relate and yeah, I have some tips for you. Let's start Okay, so first step is to dodge correctly. So First rule is to never spot dodge. Okay, spot dodges are just bad against greatsword Because you will just get caught in one of its another attacks even if the greatsword player doesn't even dodge read you will just uh, get caught look look just look at this you see, he spot dodged and I just continued my string and uh, I still hit, hit him. And if the great sword players know how to dodge read, then he ca can punish you like this. And you don't want to get punished like this. So spot dodging is just uh, really bad. Don't spot dodge. Um, what you can do is to dodge differently. So you should not like dodge one specific um, way and you like you should also not dodge in because um you can you can punish in dodges also pretty good uh, as a great sword player um because of lo a lot of people uh, just dodge this in and you can punish it pretty easily so i would recommend you to maybe dodge diagonal up to dodge diagonal up uh, or to um yeah diagonal in or diagonal away those are like the best dodges maybe or up or um sometimes away like, I think the best thing uh, is to just dodge differently. So, uh, the great sword, great sword player will not be able to read you good because if I just set the bot to random, um, then I can still punish him, but not, not that easy. Okay, so the most player will not be able to um, punish the dodges. Uh, so, yeah, that's really important. So what a lot of people don't know, you can even outjump a lot of um, great sword attacks. So for example, uh, you can uh, jump downlight uh, bridge to downlight finisher, and if you like, go in training mode and just set the bot to jump, then you can uh, test out what's jumpable, and then you should learn the timings, uh, so you can avoid a lot of damage. So that's actually really helpful. The second tip is to don't try to punish a starter. So, you know, Greatsword can always follow up with another attack, with a bridge, with a finisher. So, you really don't, if, if he misses one attack, that's not a reason to punish Greatsword. Um, it's really hard to punish this weapon, but um, after the recent nerfs to the bridges, uh, you can you can now um, punish the bridges pretty good. So you should try to punish the bridges. So if a great sword player misses his bridge, then um, yeah, you can uh, punish him for that. But uh, don't try to punish the starter because, for example, I can do a sidelight and then I can even do a bridge. So I can wait pretty long and still do a bridge if he tries to engage me. And as you can see, the hitbox is pretty big. So, um, I will be able to punish him. And a lot of people just try to punish me when they can't. For example, I'm engaging them with a neutral light and I'm just dodging back and then I can, yeah, punish them for, um, trying to punish me. Or if I miss a side light, then I can still go on with a neutral light. Um, so you should not try to punish the starters that much. Because it's pretty risky against great sword and you can get caught in like pretty heavy strings. You should also um, dodge the finishers. So the finishers actually have a lot of recovery frames. So when like look at this look at the, this recovery frames. I'm, I'm I'm pressing as fast as I can. So you can definitely punish this pretty good. Okay, the third tip is to use the training mode or get um, experience against Great Sword. Um, there are not that much Great Sword players out there, especially in ranked. So 
you really want to train how to um, you want to train against great sort. So for example, you can you can set the bot. Okay, this is German, so you maybe will not understand this. But um, you can set the KI to I don't know easy or um, maybe chosen or extreme or something you want, and then you can um, under the setting there's a setting uh, which attacks he should use. And for example, if you wanna um, if you wanna practice, oops, if you wanna practice against um, great sword, this is a pretty good way because you see he's engaging me. And I set I set the um, bot to chosen, and look he he's engaging me. And the chosen bot is actually pretty pretty good practice against great sword. Like he plays great sword on diamond niveau. So um, yeah, you can you can try to move it and dodge away. And you see I can I can pretty uh, outmove it because I know the range of all these attacks. And so you just moving around the bot and just don't try to get hit and then you can um, if you like got the movement you can try to engage the, you can try to engage the bot and this will actually help you also you can um, set the bot to air attacks so he will be uh, floaty and he will use the attacks in the air and uh, yeah you can like also practice against this and if you want to practice on all, you can just turn this setting off, um, and you can just play against the chosen bot, for example, as uh, as a great sword player. That's like pretty good practice because then you can um, learn how to engage and how to not get hit by great sword. And you can, for example, you can also set this to Jayan or Mako. Um, I don't know what uh, you want to practice against, but. Um, yeah, that's a really good way to practice against Great Sword, and it really helps, I promise. And the last tip for today is to move correctly. So Great Sword is a lot, it's just stronger on the ground. Okay, it's also pretty good against uh, in the air, but in on the ground it's just melting because it has those um, free hit combos and it can cancel it and it can dodge read and uh, you can infinity combo so it's just super super strong on the ground um, but in the air it's not as uh, near as, po as good as in the as on the ground so you wanna be floaty and uh, you um, always want to jump a bit so uh, you can't get engaged by this because like l look at look at the range I can hit him literally the half of the map this is a light engage which can yeah, follow up uh, to other attacks so um, if you always jump a bit uh, then the enemy um, has has to take the risks has to take the risk to miss this and get punished and that's what you should be doing so if he misses this for example uh, you can punish him and if you float you can also not get hit uh, by the side light that good and the neutral light, I mean you can get hit by the neutral light of course, but the neutral light doesn't have that much range, uh, so I can't even hit him from here. So uh, you really have to be like directly in front of the enemy to hit a neutral light. And yeah. You should also stay on distance against Great Sword, um, because if you like always rush uh, the Great Sword, then the great set basically can literally cover itself in hitboxes. So I can just uh, do combos out of nothing. And if you just try to engage all the time and rush great sword, uh, then you will just get caught by one of those hitboxes. Uh, so you want to be on distance and um, you want to try to punish the enemy, or um, you have to think. Like, how can you engage? So, how is it safe to engage? Okay, now he's in a bad position, now I'm going to engage. And, yeah, that's really important to know when to attack. Because Great Set, yeah, can literally just combo even if it missed, so like this. Um, and it has, I don't know, just insane hitboxes. So, you really wanna, um, you really wanna stay on distance and then try to engage. Also, uh, you should move around the great sword. So 
you should uh, maybe be right or left or right um, because then it can't uh, really engage you that good. If you always stay on one side, then the greatsword can just yeah cover itself into hitboxes because you can't while in a greatsword uh, three piece combo he can't turn around. So if I'm doing this, I can't I can't turn around and do the attack in the other direction. Um, that means you run and get behind the greatsword and then you can also punish it. So um, yeah, that's really important. And yeah, all in all, like. I think the best thing to prove um, against Greatsword is actually to go in training mode or, I don't know, play with a friend uh, who's a Greatsword main um, and then just play against him. I have a friend uh, who's uh, a plat player and I'm a diamond player, but he plays, he played so much against me and uh, my Greatsword that he's really good against Greatsword and he just knows how to perfectly space the weapon and yes even if he's not a diamond enemy he's like playing better than the diamond enemies against me because he knows exactly how to space and yeah that's spacing is literally the most important thing if you um play against greatsword okay if you have any other questions just write a comment i will answer like mostly and yeah if you if you like the video maybe consider leaving a like or a subscription um i want to get like 1 million subscribers so subscribe um <laughs> i'm joking and yeah i think that's it from the video and see you in the next one